Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. I will show you how to set up a car in the Blender game engine now. First I will uh, set up my Blender window. This is uh, the default scene here. Um, I'm, I'm pressing T to get rid of this uh, window here. Now, let's move this here a bit. Okay, I, I want my logic editor to be uh, down here in the timeline. Well, this is good. Now I'm going to switch to Blender game. Up here. So I have uh, better controls here in this property window. So now, that's uh, okay. I will uh, start by uh, modeling uh, a low poly car. So um, I will do this quick. Now move this up a little. Maybe I can, if I press N, I can uh, uh, type in exact values. So this is zero. Then I can uh, scale it on the y-axis like this. Okay. Take this down a little bit, and now I'm going to extrude. Or maybe let's do this. Extrude it. Drag it up. Scale it. Like this. Okay. Oh, whoop. Extrude it again. The windows. Scale it. So. This is our car. Maybe. This is our car. Okay. Look at this. It's pretty awesome. Maybe it's a little bit wide, but it's okay. So, now that we modeled our car, we can start uh, by enabling the physics for this car. So, because if I uh, start the game engine now, there are no physics, the car uh, just floats in the air. So we go to our properties window, to the physics tab, select rigid body. Now it falls down and uh, we need a, a, a nice collision mesh. So we select collision bounce down here and uh, I with my uh, low poly model uh, will uh, choose triangle mesh. If you have a very high poly model uh, it's better to choose convex hull because triangle mesh uses uh, the exact uh, amount of faces to uh, calculate a very uh, exact collision detection. Alright, triangle mesh is very suitable for this uh, low poly model. Nice. So the next step um, is, uh, yeah, we uh, will uh, now um, add a text to our blend file. So I'm going to split this area here and get the text editor in this window and uh, add a new text and I will call it uh, suspension alright I will leave it empty for now because uh, it has nothing to do we will come back to that later and now um, I can uh, select my car and uh, give it some logic in the logic editor so um, the first thing uh, we need to uh, tell the game engine that we want to run our script so I will add an always sensor this sensor if I enable true level triggering will uh, send a true pulse to this Python controller which is executing our script as you see uh, in every frame so if I connect them every frame this script which is now empty but will be filled later is uh, going to be executed and this is what we want then uh, we need two properties for our car called init and CID those are for the script later we will also come to this uh, to come to this back later sorry alright so now we are ready with our car chassis the next step I will 
shift that uh, to here. The next step is um, to add some wheels. So I will um, add a new mesh, and uh, because it's going to be a wheel, let's uh, take maybe a circle. So now, let's move this out here so you can see it. Alright, this is a little big for a wheel. So, um, as I know in my script, which I will uh, paste uh, to this uh, Blender file later, I uh, set a wheel, uh, wheel radius of uh, 0 0.8, also 80 centimeters, 0 0.8 meters. So I will press N here, and um, also scale those dimensions of this uh, circle down to 0 0.8 meters in X and uh, Epsilon, uh, X and Y. Uh, directions. Okay, now I can go to this view and rotate it by 90 degrees. Okay, so you see what I did right now. I rotated this. You can also rotate it here by uh, in the in the rotation. Maybe this is easier. So it was like this, and I rotated it uh, around the y axis by 90 degrees. All right. So now uh, this doesn't look like a wheel, so we go uh, press tab to go to edit mode and we extrude those uh, circled vertices. Press E, press a left mouse button without moving the mouse, and now you can extrude it like this. Okay, and uh, with extruding and scaling, I can now model a little bit of a wheel here. Extrude, scale it, extrude it again, scale it a little further. Alright, extrude it again, don't scale it. And now I can give in the exact value of Z0 and we have it exact bounded here. Alright. Nice. So this is our wheel. Uh, I think it will uh, be enough for demonstration right now. So, now um, well, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, set the middle point of this wheels of of this wheel, it's uh, it's. I I need to uh, have it uh, in the middle of the wheel as well, so I'm going to object, transform, origin to geometry. So as you will see now, this will shift to the exact middle of this wheel object. Okay, this is very important for the game engine later. Otherwise, your car can flip around and do things you don't want it to do. Alright, now our wheel. I'm gonna. Okay, our wheel needs uh, some logic too. So, the uh, only thing it needs, it needs uh, an actuator. I will uh, uh, choose a visibility actuator because uh, uh, at least it doesn't do anything, this actuator. It's just there so that the script knows which uh, wheel to handle, which object to handle with this wheel. The important thing of this uh, actuator is its name. It needs to be wheel 1 for this wheel, for wheel 1. For wheel 3 it needs to be wheel 3. We will add uh, with, uh, the other wheels uh, later. Let's first set up this. So this is ready, this actuator. And um, now uh, we uh, need to change uh, the physics type of this. So here in the physics tab, we are going to set it to no collision because it must not uh, collide with the vehicle because we don't have real arches right now. So uh, it will act weird again if we don't, uh, you know. <laughs> sorry, if, we, if if you don't uh, set it to no collision. All right. Okay. So now uh, we can duplicate this by uh, pressing Shift D drag it up here so now we have two wheels now we have three wheels now we have all four all right um, this wheel or orig original wheel has the right name in its actuator but those wheels we need uh, here we need to change those names to wheel two then here to wheel three and here to wheel Four, so that the script can uh, call all of those four wheels. All right, 
nice so now we have our four wheels now we uh, select all those five objects because now we're going to add some more logic in the logic editor here this uh, the, those are the both um, uh, this is a sensor and a controller from our car and those are the actuators from the wheels so we connect this Python controller to the, uh, those uh, actuators from all of the wheels from all the four wheels so now the script can actually grab those wheel actuators and uh, with those wheel actuators the owner of those are the wheels so the script knows where are the wheels okay alright so now everything uh, uh, that's left to do we need to um, give it some function and this is uh, what we do with this script I'm gonna paste it now this is the script uh, you you will have it in this uh, in the description I will paste it in the des description with str uh, uh, with control and F I can uh, add line numbers and syntax highlighting so it looks a bit looks a little bit better so this is our script I will come to the uh, I, I will uh, come to that uh, in in another video sorry for my English <laughs> Okay, so now uh, if we start it, uh, if we start our game engine, it all should work, and I hope it works now. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so I need to uh, I need to check where the problem is. I will toggle the system console. Okay, I I, I made a mistake. Uh, the mistake is those properties of our car need to be integer. Okay, integer. It's very important. Let's try it again. Yeah, look at this. So the script does something, something at least. I will add a plane, so we have some floor, some ground to drive on. Scale it up to maybe ten times, no, fifty times bigger. It's uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, now let's uh, do this again. Sorry. Rip can move it up maybe it's a little bit big scale it to what did I do now sorry for that okay oh I was in edit mode I think um, it doesn't matter just ignore what I did now what I do now transform origin to geometry so I'll Okay, let's let's try it. Yeah, look at this. So um, it does what it should de do. My plane is a little bit. Uh, that looks better. Okay, look at that. So uh, you see what is wrong. Our car does move, and in the script, I have a constant force uh, uh, available. Uh, um, Apply engine force is one, so I have a constant force on this. If I uh, select zero, it won't move. Okay. Nice. So uh, you see w what the problem is uh, with this: the wheels are in the wrong direction. So we can just change that by rotating the wheels in the edit mode. Just look where, uh, how we need to rotate them, and then do it. Oh, press. Look at this. Okay. Oh, we can do it uh, in another. I don't need this anymore. So, press N. So we can now rotate this wheel by zero degrees again maybe we uh, didn't have to rotate it and uh, very important for the game engine is that we apply the scale and rotation of this object apply scale and rotation let's test it if it worked out no it didn't hmm. 
Well, uh, I, I w so uh, here I'm back again. Um, I made a little mistake. I accidentally pressed uh, the dot key that uh, shifts your um, your uh, global orientation, your transform uh, arrows. So uh, the thing is, we need to uh, change the rotation of our wheels in the edit mode. So I go to front view, press five for autographic, tap A to select all, and now R and rotate it by 90 degrees negative. I will do that uh, with two of those wheels. Okay, this is the right one. Rotate minus 90. Okay, the other two wheels, uh, I will rotate them the other direction because they are on the other side of the car. So, rotate it by 90 degrees. And this two. So, let's have a look at our car. Look at that. Nice. Those are facing the right way. Now, um, what I'm going to do is add some force to show you. Apply force 1. It now drives. Sorry for the bad frame rate, but my uh, computer is not the best. So, as you see, uh, the wheels are a little bit too far on the outside. You can uh, adjust that with the attach post local property in here. So this is uh, the amount the wheels stand to the sides. So if I uh, if I choose 1.0 here for all of the four wheels, this looks better, huh? And now everything is about tweaking values. Um, I will uh, I will come to that uh, in another video and I will put uh, the script here in the description and uh, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope I could help you so please leave a comment if I could help you or uh, if you have questions just comment